So, inspiration in my closet. Looks like I need to do a bit of straightening up in here. Hmm, pajama pants. I think I'm gonna go with these pajama pants. These are Scottish Terriers, one of my favorite breeds of dog. So let's do a red soap and then some Scotties and some white. There's my inspiration. I have found it. That was easy. Here we go with our Scotty in bed. In here, I have just lard with one tablespoon of activated charcoal. And we've got our lye over here. Fragrance oil is brown sugar and fig. Top notes of fig, caramelized sugar and sea salt. Middle notes of brown sugar and green floral. Base notes of amber and dark musk. Have you ever seen a slower fragrance pour than that? I was trying to make it last the whole notes description. Here's my line to not go over that, to actually stay under that line. The cookie cutter that I'm using is actually pretty skinny. This might be a bit of a challenge. Let's add a little bit more in the middle here. Alright, and then we've got some leftover. Whoa! Was that a wild pour? Yes, it was really wild. Alright, I'll be back when it's time to start cookie cutting out little Scotty dogs. Forgot to spray it with rubbing alcohol, but I guess that really doesn't matter when you're making an embed. This is four hours later. It looks like a little chalkboard. Here's my cookie cutter that my mother gave me. Oh no, his little leg. Oh no, he's crumbling. This isn't going to be so easy, is it? Oh my goodness, he's crumbling. Into pieces. Why? Is it because of the charcoal? Oh man, I'm living. I tried to glue him back together, but I don't know. What a sad situation. I hope the whole batch isn't going to be like this. His little leg is not attaching. Holy cow. Okay, that one might be a lost cause. I sure hope the rest aren't like that. Otherwise, this was a big waste of time. Maybe the activated charcoal makes it brittle. It's very possible. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh my goodness. Oh no. This is not going to work. I'm so upset. It just crumbles. <sighs> Maintain composure. I'm still going to try. And this one's tail fell off in the meantime. Man. So, lesson learned today. Activated charcoal is not good for making small, detailed things. Gotcha. <laughs> look. Just look. Look at the sadness. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe what I'm experiencing right now. This is becoming way more complicated than it was originally intended. I'm going to keep going. Why? I guess because I started it. Now I feel like i got to keep going. I'm so annoyed. It's Crumble City. It's terrible. This is the first one that came out almost in one piece. His back end is crumbling. Okay, I'm going to pause this because this is going to take way too long to be recording. And it's going to take up too much memory. 
So I'll be back and we'll see what I decide. Here we are now to make the rest of the soap. I did finish making my little Scotty embeds. Because it was so crumbly, I wasn't able to make enough to go all the way across the mold, but there will at least be a few bars with a Scotty in it. Here we have olive oil, canola oil, and castor oil. Making those embeds was the most delicate work I have done. I had to be so precious with those little cookie cutters. All right, and here is our lye water. Scottish Terriers are one of my favorite dog breeds because I grew up with them. For a little while, my parents were breeding Scottish Terriers. We had a Scottish Terrier named Duke, he was a Wheaton, and a black Scottish Terrier named Duchess. And so I got to be surrounded by puppies for a few years of my childhood, which is super cool. The last Scottish Terrier we had was named Ricky, and he passed away last year. Sadly, he got to live to a nice old age. I'm going to separate just a little bit into another container. Then, we'll add our colorant. This is called Roussette. I don't actually have a red mica, and I'm fine with that. This is just based on my inspiration of my Scottish Terrier pajama pants. That's beautiful. Looks like velvet. Then I'm going to add the fragrance Gardenia Tuberose. This has top notes of gardenia, lemon peel, middle notes of tuberose, jasmine, green floral, and a base of powder. Is this going to accelerate? Where I put the fragrance in, there's chunks. Uh-oh. Maybe it's just like tricks of the color or something, but what does it look like when your fragrance separates? Because there's like a constant darker color, and I... What does fragrance separation look like? Hmm. And we'll pour in a bottom layer. What I was going to do with this, since it's going to be white when it's cured, is I was going to pipe it in to make the dots. This was an experiment though. I don't know if this will work. It's probably not going to work, is it? Nope, this is not going to work. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put my little embeds in. Here's some of them, and there's another stack I have too. Hopefully they'll stand up. Stand up, little Scotties. Please. I have a feeling my, my, uh, my pattern isn't going to work out. My soap is very hot. And then here's the other stack. I don't know what I'm going to do about the white spots. I guess I should have made just some white embeds. My soap is very thick. It smells nice. It had like minor acceleration or something going on. Well, my white, my white dots are not going to work out. I'm going to see if I can do the, that thing. Nope, I'm accelerating too much. Nope, not going to happen. Boy, my soap is hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. Well, I've got this little bit of white batter. I guess I'll just throw it on top. Well, I had completely different visions for the soap, but that's okay. All right, well, at least I got Scotty's in there. That was really the main thing. So I am curious what this top is going to look like, because that yellow will turn white. 
guess we'll see, won't we? Alright, I'm gonna go set this off to the side. See you soon, okay guys? Here we are again tomorrow, my isolated friends and family. some Scotty dogs. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see what's next. Well, there is my Scotty dog, but this poor little leg. This isn't as beautiful as I want it to be. But there is a Scotty dog. Let's see if the next one looks any better. Well, it's okay. It's all right. He's got a heavy head, so he's falling forward. Yep. Looks like that might be as good as we get it, huh? It's not terrible. It's just not like I envis envisioned it, but it was good practice, and I learned some things for future soap. In quite a few bars Scotty with the Scotty in it that's nice I bet this is the last one though nope well look at what happened to that one I'm not even sure why that happened oh I think I know why because my last the last one the last uh, stack of Scotty's started to curve and I think it's just curved Okay, and then we're, oh, there's, these were my little attempts to get some spots in there. I guess that's, that sort of worked for the raindrop thing that I've seen people do, but certainly didn't work for what I was going for. It's fine, though. It's fine. It's fine. I tried. <laughs> well, even though I imagined my soap was going to be a lot cuter, I'm not terribly unhappy with this one. I'm going to try the Scotty again. Try to figure out what I can do so that the head isn't so heavy, so that maybe I can have him standing straight. Keep safe, all of you, and don't do anything foolish. Take care of yourself which takes care of everybody else. See you later.